Last year, to celebrate turning 50, I partnered with 50 amazing family members and friends to have a little art adventure. I sent each person two small encaustic paintings, one that they could keep as a small token of the love and gratitude I feel towards them and the many ways that they've enriched my life. And the second piece they placed or hid out in the world for a stranger to find. This was a small attempt to put some random art and kindness out into the world. The people who participated sent me photographs of where they placed their pieces and a description of what that location meant to them. I shared parts of these stories on my Facebook page, Nancy Crawford Artist. I was blown away by the effort and the enthusiasm that my family and friends put into this activity and was thoroughly entertained by many of the stories they shared about the trials and tribulations they went through in an attempt to find the perfect location. Okay, I've got a lot of weird friends. The works traveled extensively and landed in a variety of diverse locations, including a hiking trail in New Zealand, a temple in Japan, a gazebo in Nova Scotia, in front of an art mural in Columbus, Ohio, on a university campus in Philadelphia, on a park bench in Granville Island in my hometown of Vancouver, and many other amazing locations. It was a travel adventure without ever leaving home. Another really fun aspect of the project was hearing back from people around the world who found the works and took the opportunity to connect. I shared many of their stories as well about what finding that piece of art, a gift from a stranger, meant to them. It was fun to feel connected with these people in some small way. That project was so much fun that quite honestly, as I contemplated my birthday this year, it felt very anticlimactic. And then I got an idea. Why not use my birthday as an annual event to reach out to others in some way, sharing my art and doing some kind of creative project collaborating with others. October is a wonderful month to celebrate the arrival of fall and a special time of Thanksgiving. This year's project, Evermore Love and Gratitude, shares some similarities with last year's project, along with some new twists. This year, the focus is on the amazing relationships that can develop between teachers and students. It pays homage to mentors and the amazing people who have inspired us along the way. While many people who participated in last year's project would fall into this category, I wanted to reach out to others. Like last year, each person on my list was sent two small encaustic paintings, one that they can keep and the other which they will give to one of their mentors or teachers or a special individual who's inspired them in some way. They also had to be willing to share the name of the person they chose and describe one life lesson or inspiration that they value from that relationship. Once again, I'll be posting these little stories so that we can all share in the inspiration. themselves are small encaustic pieces incorporating many different processes and techniques. I did give myself a few additional creative parameters this year, including working with a restricted color palette. fall into two color groupings, either black and white with an optional accent of red, or the colors of fall. Autumn is my favorite season of the year, and I love the rich tones of yellow ochre, rust, burnt sienna, and umbers.
I also decided to incorporate a number of quotes in these pieces. Quotes about teaching, mentorship, questioning, and creativity. The base layer of all the works is a great quote by Albert Einstein. He said, it's the supreme art of the teacher to awaken joy and creative expression and knowledge. I pulled some key words from that quote. Art, joy, awaken, expression, and wrote them large on the original sheet that formed the foundation of it all. While some quotes are written in calligraphy and are quite legible, many of the text pieces are obscured, layered or written in such a way that the literal message is lost. Text becomes fragments, marks, and scribbles. quotes and the ideas they express represent the foundation of this project, my career as a teacher and artist, and my life. I think some of the most memorable and exciting times in my life have been when I was learning, creating, experimenting, failing, trying new approaches, failing again, questioning, challenging myself to move out of my comfort zones, and expanding my vision. I think this is something that most of us share. It's that joy of learning and discovery. Another way that we connect is through our amazing teachers, our mentors, and those who have inspired us with their efforts and achievements. They were there for us and somehow knew whether to hold our hand, offer an encouraging word, or yes, even kick our butts. ourselves to become all that we can be, to actualize our potential, to share our gifts with the world, and help others recognize and fulfill their own potential, our sacred acts, and something that felt important to honor. I'm so grateful for the ways my teachers have helped to shape who I'm becoming. Thank you. <laughs>